Okay. What are we doing out here again? We're looking for a log so that we can make a log. What? I'm so confused. Exactly. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna work perfect. That is a log. I know, so now we can make a log. What? I know. This is gonna turn out great. Hey, welcome back to the channel today. Uh, so right now we're gonna build a the log for the channel. Um, if you look right here, I've already built one, and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make this little bad boy with the uh, edges and all. I think it turned out really sweet. It looks just like the log in the game with the uh, imitation bark look and everything, and so super excited about that. You guys can do it yourself at home if you have the right tools, of course. Anyway, so first things first, you're gonna wanna go find yourself a log. And the reason you use a log is because um, if you just use like dimensional lumber like you find at Home Depot or Lowe's, it just doesn't look as good or as sweet when you get the finished product. I've seen some people use like closet rods. <laughs> they just cut a closet rod or something. Anyway, it looks, it doesn't look as good. So check this out. We're gonna get to this and get it done. Um, this log is gonna be a little bit digger, bigger than the ones that I normally would do. Uh, usually the dimensions would be six inches long by two inches in diameter. So when you're out there looking for your log, go and find a, a stick that's about six inches long at least and perfectly straight and about two inches in diameter so that your log works out perfectly. All right, so this log, I got a little bit bigger anyway like I said. Okay, with your log, you're gonna wanna take off all the bark because you don't want bark on your log. We wanna make a simulated bark look. So you're gonna wanna get like a, a grinder or a four inch angle grinder or something. And I'm using a 36 grit uh, sanding disc and I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the bark off this bad boy. All right. So after you have all the bark grinded off, you're gonna wanna take your sander and you're gonna wanna sand it. We want a rough looking look, but we gotta simulate that look. And so we actually want it really smooth so that we can make it look rough. I know it's weird, but that's just the way it is. So you're gonna wanna sand it the best you can. You can use a hand sander like this, or you can just sand it by hand. Either way, works great. So the next part that we gotta do, once you've got your log all sanded and nice and pretty looking, is we gotta simulate the actual bark of the log. And so if you look at my first log that I built, the smaller one, uh, you basically what we're gonna do next is we're gonna route out the inside of the log here so that we can leave this little lip of bark on the edge there. And it looks really sweet. So what we're gonna need for that is of course, we're gonna need a router so that we can route that out. And this part's super uh, dangerous, so if you haven't done it before, then uh, be sure and get somebody who can help you with this. And then we're gonna use a vise. Um, basically, the vise is what's gonna hold down our log. Super light, just kidding, that weighs like 40 pounds. But <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna vise that bad boy down, and then I'm gonna route it out.
now, now that we got that routed out there, check that out. That looks so sweet. Uh, the more, uh, see how there's like th these cracks in the wood and stuff that actually adds to the character of the wood, so it'll make it look super sweet. So don't worry too much about those. Um, so the next part that we're gonna do is what's well, gonna set your log apart from the rest of the logs out there. Any normal log out there um, is we're gonna actually um, start carving the bark out with the grinder. And so we're gonna actually make it look like actual bark on the end of the log. Kind of like this bad boy here. You see how we kind of grinded that out and made it look, put these like lines in it. Maybe you can't see real well, but I'll take some pictures and kind of show it to you afterwards. So that's what we're gonna do next, and so let's show you how to do that. So grab your grinder here, and then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna angle and we're gonna kinda cut little ends in the bark, and then we're just gonna go along the side here and kinda make what would be natural wood lines in the log itself. So now we're all done grinding. If you want to check out the edges, they look pretty dang sweet. Uh, and it's pretty much the look that you want, whatever you guys want to do. You can do as much as, or as little as you want, but kind of just make it look like a real piece of wood. And it's kind of, it's way easy to do. It's way easier than it looks. And it's basically like drawing on a piece of paper. And then all these little lines here will kind of simulate the actual look of the wood when we start staining it. It looks pretty sweet. So. Anyway, check that out. And then next step is we're gonna get, uh, might clean up a little bit of these edges here, but then we'll start staining it. You don't wanna stain the inside of this. When we hit that with the clear coat of spray, that's gonna actually darken that up a little bit, but you want that to be lighter than the actual bark itself. So be sure, uh, just try not to stain the inside of that. We're just gonna stain the bark parts. And so when you put stain on, the secret is just put a little bit on your cloth and then just wipe as much off as you possibly can. Now that we have our log all stained, all we're gonna do is we're gonna spray a clear coat on it. Uh, we're gonna spray a couple clear coats on it and then um, next step after that. While our clear coats are starting to dry on the log here, we have this hardware that we're gonna use for spikes that we got at the craft store. And we need to spray paint that so that it's nice uh, metallic silver color. So we're gonna spray all those pieces and we need 10 of them. So we're gonna spray all 10 of those and get those to dry in as well. Now on our log, we've put three coats, three coats of the clear coat on, and it's nice and smooth looking. I know you can't really tell right now, but it's nice and smooth looking. It looks all pretty and everything, but those grains, those little th marks that we cut in the, with the grinder, you can kind of see them, but I want to really see them. So what we're going to do is we are going to get uh, what they call, it's like a glaze. It's called, I actually got Van Dyke Brown Glaze from Sherman Williams. And we're gonna paint that on the log and then we're gonna wipe it off. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna really bring out the grains that you cut with your grinder in the log and it's gonna really make it have a nice effect. And a lot of people wouldn't do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it because it looks really sweet. 
get to it. What you do when you do this is basically in your little marks that you cut, you take a paintbrush and you're just gonna go ahead and put that glaze right in there. And all that does, it's gonna stay in there and kinda dry in there. And then we're gonna wipe it all off later. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put it on all the marks there that we cut and just make it look really distressed. You see how when I'm putting that on there, I'm just basically putting it in the grooves of where I grinded. Once you got in all your marks and it's dried for a second, uh, just take your rag and you're going to wipe it along the grain there. Mm. All right, so now that we got that glaze all in there, take a look at that. It looks so sweet, actually. Oh man, it looks like a real log now. Really starting to look like a real, <laughs> a real fake log anyway. You can see in those grooves kinda how the glaze went down in there and it stayed and it really made those grains come out and pop. So check that out. And then you're gonna wanna make sure and wipe it real good. Make sure and get all your fingerprints off it. And then we're gonna hit it with one more clear coat just to seal all that glaze in there. So check that out. Oh, look at that green right there, boom. Optional step before you do that last clear coat, if you wanna have your log on a stand, we're gonna drill a hole so that we can set it on the stand. So we'll just do that real quick with this log because we are actually gonna set this one on a stand so we can display it, you know, even if we're not using it to knock things over. All right, so now that the uh, log is all dry and looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself, we are gonna go ahead and do the last step, which is of course to put on the uh, spikes for the log so that everything looks nice and neat, just like the log in game. So in order to do that, we're gonna get our drill and we're gonna, well, I was loud. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna drill some holes and then we're gonna pound those little spikes in with a rubber mallet. So let's get to it. Thanks for joining me today for the making of the log. I think it turned out pretty sweet. I'll put some pictures after the video. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe, comment, and then I'm gonna make some more things in the future. And I appreciate any feedback that you have. Just let me know, and thanks. Okay, so now that we have the log built, we're gonna test this bad boy out and see how it does in action. Here we have the Furnace Musketeer. We have Skeleton Army. Uh, hog rider, Valkyrie, and clear in the back here we have the golem. Test, test. And the log took them all out. I would say that was pretty successful. Not too bad for a log. I think that log even took out a golem.
What are we doing out here again? We're looking for a log so that we can make a log. I'm confused. Yeah, I know. Oh, here's one. That is a log. I know, so now we can make a log. I'm so confused. <laughs> I know, this is gonna be a great log. <laughs> I'm 